The Porsche 911 is a legend in the automotive world. The rear engine fastback has been used as a benchmark for both performance and handling for years and years. Even the base 911 is a beast, but Porsche makes many different versions of the 911, from the Carrera to the 911 Turbo, and then all the way to the track ready GT3 and GT3 RS. But what if I told you Porsche was looking at adding another car to the 911 lineup? So 30 years ago, Porsche engineers fitted an all-wheel drive system to the 911 for the first time and let it loose at the Paris Dakar Rally, which it won in 1985. It was called the Porsche 953 and it was a heavily modified variant of the 911. And when you look at it, you can see that this thing meant business. Now they are looking at building yet another off-road 911, which they have recently tested on one of South America's toughest trails. The Hoyo del Salando in Chile, it's the highest volcano in the world and it has insane slopes made of treacherous terrain and areas where temperatures are below freezing. Not exactly where you would expect to see a 911, but Porsche took their 911 and built the ultimate Dakar style sports car. These two Porsches are based on the 443 horsepower all-wheel drive Carrera 4S. The 992 generation coupes have been heavily modified, as I'm sure you can see. These cars got new portal axles, which helped increase the ground clearance to 13.8 inches. It's not clear on what type of suspension the 911 prototypes are using, but we can all see that they are quite far from the stock setup. Then Porsche went and fitted them with a set of 12.2 inch wide off-road tires. And on the inside, these cars got a whole bunch of safety equipment, including a roll cage, carbon fiber seats and safety harnesses. But the engine and drivetrain remains mainly unchanged. The car still has its 3 litre flat 6 twin turbocharged engine producing 443 horsepower paired with a 7 speed manual gearbox, which is impressive. The engine and gearbox were designed for sports cars and they work just as well off road. Now these cars are really cool. They are like a much more extreme version of the 911 Safari, which Porsche is also busy working on. In May, some spy shots at Nürburgring showed Porsche testing their 2023 Safari, so these aren't Safaris and I'm pretty sure these won't be available to everybody. I don't know if Porsche wants to use them to compete or if these will be actual production cars that will go on sale. But even if these cars are just prototypes for Porsche's next off-road race cars, it's still pretty damn cool and it shows you how versatile their drive trains are. And it shows you how cool this brand is. You won't see Ferrari or Aston Martin doing anything like this. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like the look of the Dakar style 911? Do you think that Porsche would actually put these on sale? And if they did, would you buy one? Because they would be stupidly expensive. I know, I know this isn't a very long video, but I saw that Porsche took these cars out on the mountains and I just thought, that's the coolest thing ever. Like, I'm not really an off-road guy, but when companies take a car that's actually meant to be driven in the mountain passes and they take it up the side of the mountain, I think it's pretty damn cool and it's unique and it's it's just something else. I mean, if you see a Land Rover or something like that on a lift key going up the side of a mountain, it's like, okay, it's quite impressive but when you see a two-seater sports car with the engine in the back going up it's 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 something different it's really cool let me know what you think if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i've got many more videos on anything car related if you like cars this is the place to be i love cars so i'll check you guys in the next one cheers i